Hello everybody, first month is here again today with a news video with this uh, tech buoy. As I said, this is made uh, of AUS8 steel, uh, nearly six millimeters thick, uh, 16.2 centimeters long blade, hole grind. I put some edge on it. It's much better than, than it was uh, at home. When I did it, I did throw today with it a couple of times, about 30 times. So just have a look for the handle. This Creighton has some injury, if I say it this way. So of course this is not made for throwing, but I threw with the with the sorry. Original Trident. So why not with this one? It survived only the handle, so it's great, I would say. Uh, the tip is still there, so I'm happy with that. So, as I said, in news, what I want to say, uh, I know there are three, three uh, I would say, types of this knife. I didn't mention it in my room, but there is kind of this is Trident 1, the silver. There's Trident 2, which, is, which has uh, similar uh, details ab uh, about the knife, the material, thickness, etc. Uh, and it, it looks exactly, sorry, it looks exactly like this one. Just all the details usually like are this one. As I know, the handle is made of this same material. There is a uh, buoy number two, which is uh, with a le stuck in leather handle, maybe made of SK5 high carbon steel. It used to be, but I don't know now. And, uh, or maybe this AUS8, it doesn't matter. And it has a coating also, gun coating, so different than this one. So, and, and of course, this, this is the third model. There is an uh, anniversary model of, of uh, Sog buoy, which has uh, I think seven inches blade so I will not speak about that blade because that's kind of different I had it in my hand and it looks different and for me it will be only collectible piece but uh, that's that's what I want to say just for the handle I didn't mention it the, the chores are exactly for my like for my fingers there is no another knife which I had in my hand not only in collection which are exactly like my fingers are it's just for the grab it's absolutely great so we we'll start with this so some chopping i will do i will do batoning so i'll make some batoning stick so i'll try this one as i said i i didn't use sorry you you can't see my 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 head but you see what i'm doing here i'm not using rushing this is seasoned oak two years about there's a knot I don't need to do repositioning or if there's not really that much which is exactly what I want to not like on the old one there's that, that slippy handle isn't that good for it this is not definitely the chopper but as you can see if you put some effort into it you can do it it's springing somewhere Definitely not chopper. For the seasoned wood, there will be much better choices for such a knife, but but let's try. For the fresh wood, it's much better. This is light blade, I mean the whole knife, 310 grams, which is nothing. It's absolutely standard for such a long knife, I mean in the five, six inches blade, six and a half actually. So this is it. See the, the center I broke, but 
as you can see it was quite hard for the knife i'm not saying you can't do it or try it in this way let's try well the batoning stick okay let's try it whole grind bites really in mm -hmm. well done so for for that kind of wood I mean I mean uh, seasoned oak for example two inches definitely this one was, was even more harder and wider. Uh, but using this batoning technique is better probably. But as you can see, you can do it. That's important. Oh, we got a, we got a hornet here, which is nice always to have it here somewhere. And oh yes, so here is my, this is the, from the same wood piece, as you can see, nice wood, no crap. So batoning. There is not the start. I'm trying to baton somewhere here. Where is the sweep? Nice, absolutely. There's no problem on it. No problem on it. I didn't expect it because I got experience with the, with the old version, which which is absolutely great. Try the, the other half to do with this, which should go a bit faster because of thicker blade. Yes, yes. More easy. One plus millimeter, so it's more light edge, as I said. Okay. So we got the. Let's say we got a route for let's say fire starting. Uh, the handle, by the way, handle, handling generally is very comfortable, very comfortable, much better than on the old version. This is hard wood, as I said. Just as I said, I, I just put some edge on it. This is much more easy. This is beautiful. This is oak, as I said, no soft wood, not soft wood, definitely not, with the normal handling. Why I want to have these killings? Okay, now. Better for more detailed work. And as I said, this is hardwood, so this is not definitely wood. You want to carve something from it. Just pull. Mm, great one. Yeah, with the new edge. Mm, this is excellent, guys. I hope you see that. This is excellent. I do really like it. So I go there. This is, uh, I think, a pine plank. So soft, much worse, much more softer wood. Better for everything. I mean, in carving. That's, that's the whole grind, it's windy, so see the, the shavings want to fly out. Okay. Let's 
try and get that. It's, it is too long for that, so I'll try to do this one. I hope you see, see this one. So if I want to have, if I want to make some shavings, I will probably do it in this way, on this longer plank. So, something like that. That's, that's excellent. As I said, this is soft wood, so for the easy chopping, as I said, the handling is really comfortable. I don't need to reposition. That's really really important no reposition still the same without any effort the handle my hand is stuck in the in the handle here that's absolutely great with these two fingers that's great just for general slicing cutting as you can see up the guard here yeah is a little bit in the way of the thumb you can avoid it you can do it over here but to be honest it will if it will be about five millimeter more, less which I will probably do it will be a bit better for this handling but in the other hand it's absolutely great. Absolutely great. No problems. Sometimes I do like I can do this. No. Stop through material. Release it. It's no problem. Just when I want. If, if I did, you know, the, the video about Tops, uh, Tops uh, Survivor, so Hellion Survivor Elite, you know, where was the, where was the tip on the back when I hit it, so I, I had some, I pierced my, my, just the skin, not really deep, but it wasn't comfortable. This is much better if you need, you know, do this one. This is absolutely great, even for that, you can do these things see that see the power I can smash into into wood so used for uh, nailing small nails if I want to have if I want to make uh, some harder harder wood tent sticks I'm, I'm not saying this is the best way best wood for it but this is hard wood and if nothing else I've got this one of course I can have a look for better better choice but because this is about test of the knife not exactly for the for the tent stick so this is like this one and as I said because this is hard wood so I can definitely use it to ground something, you know, with a with a stone hammer this one into into the ground and keep it as a you know and this 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 is useful now for that kind of task. So I can do it with this one very easy. Okay. Really fine and suffering. Jerimbing. I hope nobody expected some problems. Have a look. Okay, 
now I need to do some angling sorry this is still for one chop about half inch green uh, this is horn beef horn beak horn beak probably as I as I sing sing it properly okay some usually as I do uh, triggers for traps square notch absolutely perfect Beautiful, beautiful. Of course, I can do it in this way, but still, with this knife, it will be, I think, better. If I won't make a tip because this is hardwood, as I said, even it's green to prepare the wood. I do the X and just finish it. But this one, if I want to have stronger slices. Nicely sharp. So definitely, definitely good for this one. If I can strike a fire, I believe yes. I didn't try it, never, on this knife. Oh, nicely, nicely, guys. Oh, I tried the old version. I didn't, didn't try it any time. Yes, so both of them nicely, nicely. Didn't try, so I know, I know, I know now. See that coating after using? It's still there, still there. If I want to debark, as you can see, there's no absolutely no problem with the knife. The tip, as you can see, is strong enough. I when I suck it into board. Wow, guys, I don't want to be there. That's, that's something, that's really something. Strong, sharp tip. Okay, batoning, batoning, slicing, chopping. I think that's, that's all what I'm normally doing. I, if I want to make something like this one, I said this is this is hardwood. And it really is even oak, even seasoned oak. So I can do something like this one, which is good enough for everything I need. If I build, if I build shelter, you know, or something like that. So guys, I think that's it. What for, what I want to tell you about the knife. Uh, I usually say about recommendation. I this knife I strongly recommend this knife because for the price if you compare the length knife and everything like that you really hardly can find some comparable knife with such a great knife I mean such great design 
with Kydex sheath, which is great, with the great handling, you know, good steel, I'm not saying the best steel definitely, but proven steel, that's important, and uh, which can do all the tasks you need. I think kind of, as I said, kind of more combat over, over the bush tasks, I, I would say, but definitely it can do everything you, everything you need out of skinning i got you know if you ask me what about uh, what about trackers for example i got this here my t4 it's a company for it because it has more belly it has the sole if i need you know for skinning and for something like that which weights nothing and another combination which i like but i really do like this knife i do really recommend this knife and uh, just let me know if you if you got in use experience with these socks uh, I mean the buoy trident or this one tech buoy which is basically buoy I hope you enjoy that have a nice time and see you next time bye mm -hmm.